So you're probably wondering what on earth is all this stuff. I'm actually bringing to you one of my first haul videos and I went to Melbourne on holidays recently. I wasn't too sure if I wanted to do some haul videos because I don't like making people feel left out. I don't know what their financial situation is. So I saved all my money up. I had some birthday money to spend. I had some vouchers and different things like that. And I saved up and I went shopping in Melbourne and I bought lots of little fun goodies and I wanted to share with you what I bought. My go-to stores when I'm shopping are bookstores, quirky gift or art stores, any Japanese stores that I can find. I also like going to the op shops and looking for like cheap books and things like that. So I went to um, the Melbourne Central shopping center area that's in the heart of the city, City B of Melbourne, and I visited the Kit Kat Chocolatory, and it's a really cool place, so you can go in, so you can use these little machines to design and create your own Kit Kat, and you can personalize the packaging and everything. I did have a go at making my own Kit Kat, but it was going to be like an hour and a half wait, so we didn't really want to wait around, but lucky enough, some of the things that I wanted to put in it in the Kit Kat my personalized one was kind of on the shelves already. So I'll just show you what I got. So it came in this really cute little box. It's a bag. And so I was really excited to get this. So it's a bit melted because it's a bit hot and I had it in my bag so I wanted to share with you on video. So that's why it looks a bit funny. But it's a reimagined Australian lamington flavor. So it's really yummy. And yeah, so it's got all different, it's got, um, so it's crisp batch baked wafers, smothered in smooth premium milk chocolate, lightly toasted coconut and jammy strawberry pieces. So that's like a lamington flavor. It looks really, really yummy. I love Kit Kats. I actually like dunking them into my cups of teas. And so it was really exciting to see another flavor. And this was like a special, I think, Lunar New Year for the Chinese New Year that they had. And it's got some beautiful packaging on it for the Year of the Dog. And we already ate this one at the hotel. So it opens up into a little box. And it's got this beautiful little print on the packet. So we ate that at the hotel as a little treat because we couldn't wait. And this one was salted orange jellies and caramelized meringue. So that was so tasty. And these were about $7 each. So that's what I got from the Kit Kat Chocolatory. So one of the main stores I was really, really excited to go to was the stationery store Milligram because they stock a lot of Japanese stationery. Because so I've been wanting to get one of these Travels Notebooks for some time now. So I was able to give some of my birthday money to get this as well as the little plastic sleeve pouch which goes into it as well as the little craft paper folder. So I was really excited to get that. And I got this washi tape as well. That's really, really nice. So yeah, and it comes with a few little things. So it comes in a little pouch and it's like got the leather, the little leather traveler's notebook and it also comes with the monthly spread at a glance book as well. So yeah, so I got that. So I'm excited to get into that. So I'm gonna just open this up. So it comes with the little details about it, and it comes with this 2018 guide. It's got all the official Traveller's Notebook artwork on it. Oh, it comes with some stickers, yes! It's got this little train, and I really like their little logo as well. Is that yes? Yeah, stickers, 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 stickers. So that they can go on the front of the little booklets. And there's a little guide. Doo -doo. So sweet. And then some details about some of the other things that you can get. Oh, it just smells beautiful. Oh, so it's got a little. Just a little attention to detail. It's just lovely. You could probably reuse this and put this in a journal or planner as well. 
packaging. Of course, the packaging is always beautiful in Japan. So it's got this elastic around it, and you can actually take this off the packaging and use it. It's actually a proper traveler's notebook elastic I can use for the journal. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it smells divine. I wish you could smell it. It's just this beautiful leather smell. And inside, there's just a little bit in Japanese about the traveler's notebook and how it works and its history. And it's in English as well. So that's a little bit about it and the leather and how it's made and things like that. And it comes with another elastic inside. So there's the elastic in here. You could probably pull that out and use that as well. So I've got the journal. And I went for the chocolatey brown colour. And there's the journal here. So it's just a beautiful colour as well. I just really like this dark colour. And it's got the little bookmarks. So I open it up and it's got the insert inside. So I can decorate these little months with some stickers or some planner stamps. And I've actually already got another one here, another little traveler's notebook. So I got this one a while ago, and this is the 2018 weekly spread view. And I've already started decorating that, as you can see. So I'll be able to add that into this. Sorry if I'm teasing any traveler's notebook fans out there, but I'll probably leave this with, I want to set it up, and then once it's all set up, um, I'll either take you through how I did it and I'll also show you how I decorated and things like that. So I'll probably do that in another video. I went to the Melbourne Emporium, which is another little shopping area in the CDB of Melbourne. I went to Muji and I was really excited when I found these because I've seen them these overseas. And I've seen them on a few YouTube videos, but I didn't know Muji had these. And they're a little travel scissor set, which is really cool. So that's going to go now in my little traveler's kit. And if you want to see more of my little travel kit, check out my little travel kit video. I'll leave the details in the description box below. I found this little quirky stationery store called Square, just on one of the main streets. And I got these little travel stickers. Really cute, little cute characters on them. And there's so many in the pack here. So this has got kind of like a London thing. But... You could probably yeah use it for for anything because they're really sweet. Look at this Harry Potter stickers. Harry Potter stickers. Oh my god, so cute. Some little stamp ones. Oh. Travel stickers for my traveler's notebook. And I went to Chadstone Shopping Centre and they had a store there called Mr. and Miss Jones. And I picked up these little, I guess because it's Valentine's Day when I'm in holidays. And I got these. They're really sweet. And there's lots of sheets, which means I can give them to pen pals and keep some for myself. So that's cool. And I got this from another stationery store. Actually, this was from Camberwell in the stationery store that's a huge, I think it's called Paper Republic. So it's got trams on it. And then I got this book. Oh, they got so many beautiful bookshops in Melbourne. And it was from this bookshop called Hills of Content. And the bookshop's at the top of a hill, so <laughs> you get quite puffed out trying to get to the bookshop. But it's a mass payoff when you get there because it's a beautiful bookstore. And I got this book, My Collection of Collections. And I really love this illustrator. I've got another one of her books. It's a nature-themed one. And it is a kid's book. It was in the kids' section. I'm known to go to the kids' book section because I love picture books still. I love the artwork. I love, yeah, I just like artwork and illustrations and sometimes the adult section they've got a lot of beautiful how-to books but I just want to see some lovely art so I was really excited when I found this because it's just adorable and I'm a collector person I love collecting things and I just love how she's just put this idea of illustrating collections basically and it kind of gives me I do think that I want to start illustrating more of my collections of things and stuff I love it's just a beautiful book and it's just divine. It's just, it's, it's actually a bit big, so that's why it's kind of off the camera here. It's, it's probably an A3 size. 
And yes, yeah, so I've got one of her nature books. It's got more nature stuff in it. But I just love her illustrations. And if you do want to make stickers, yep, yeah, this is another reason why I got this book. Oh my god. Stickers. Like, just stickers. It's just a world of stickers. Look at all of those stickers. They're all so cute. So next we went to the Fitzroy area which is a tram ride from the Melbourne CDB. Um, so it's a funky little area, it's got lots of little cafes, it's got a couple of op shops and it's got some really cool art design and gift stores, just some quirky stores. And um, on my travels I also like to pick up, if you've seen my travel journal video, I like to pick up brochures and business cards to stick in my travel books. So I wanted to show you some of the things I picked up. So I really liked this shop called Third Door Down. And they have lots of quirky things made from Australian artists. And this was just a brochure that they had. But it had like beautiful artwork and lots of um, Australiana type themed things, which I absolutely love. And yeah, it's got some of the items that were in the store here, so I've got that as like a little memory. So that's that. And then I picked this little postcard up in the store as well. It's really cute. So that'll probably go in my travel journal. And then I was really excited to go to this store, Kiosk. So Kiosk is a store by Melbourne, or she lived in, she was based in Sydney for a while, artist Georgia Perry a well-known illustrator in Australia and she she illustrates books and all different things and now she's got her own design store. So took a video of the giant Lucky Dip that they had going and so this is like ten dollars and I could not not get the Lucky Dip. Um, I always like a bit of surprise, a little bit of fun and so this is so this came out of it and I'll just show you what I got so I opened up and there's lots of little goodies inside which is really fun um, so we've got one of her uh, little pins. She does lots of enamel pins and it's like a little pizza. And we've got a chubba chub. And then we've got one of these little fortune tellers. And yeah, depending on how it comes up, kind of tells you what it means or what mood you're in. But I'm not sure these, I reckon these just go off how hot you are in the day. I'm not too sure. But it must go off body heat. So it curled right up. So that means that I'm passionate. And I actually did this when I first got it. It was the same thing. So I don't know what that means. And now it's doing something different. Curled tail. Moving tail. Indifference. Or maybe I'm a bit nervous about being on camera. <laughs> and I just love her illustrations. So like this is my favourite thing that was in there. This little poodle illustration sticker. So that's going in my Hobonichi, my planner. And then there's really cute little love heart erasers. They're just adorable. So my next little purchase was my one of my favorite favorite things. It's this little guy here and he's actually a glue pot. And um, they're really well known in Japan. And I know I've seen on Instagram a lot of stationary shop pictures and they're always sitting there in stationary shops. And I've actually wanted these for like so many years. And I was shopping in South Melbourne and I came across this store called Made in Japan. Actually my husband eyed it and I was like super thankful that he saw it. And um, yes, yeah, so I was really happy to find this cute little glue pot. And it's a little, it's, I love its little face and I absolutely love it. So I'm going to give it a love heart because I love it so much. It's so cute. And he's going to sit on my little desk here so I can look at him when I'm crafting. So one of my favourite places that I went shopping to was in Camberwell. It's a little town, just a little tram ride from Melbourne CDB. And they have, on Sundays, they have the mo the best trash and treasure market. So if you like looking at trash and treasure markets, so it's basically lots of op shops, people are selling antiques, secondhand goods, lots of fun and retro clothing. Just has everything basically. Um, it's a great place to go if you love op shops and things like that and you love the markets. So I went to the markets and I was lucky enough to find a few things. I actually found some kind of new things, which it's just it's so good, Canberra markets. You find like brand new things, like good quality stuff. So if you're not big on the trashy stuff, 
you can still find quality stuff there and that's what that's the beauty of it and I was really excited when I found these Studio Ghibli socks of Totoro my neighbor Totoro the movie and it's really sweet and there's a really cute lady at the store selling them and they're like five dollars and she was sweet the socks were sweet so I just had to get these and they're just absolutely adorable and um, they also had this beautiful notebook and it's actually from I think a store in Melbourne called Kami Paper, K-A-M-I, a Japanese stationery store. But um, So I'm assuming this will be pretty expensive at that store but I got these for like two dollars and it's just beautiful and I'm going to use it for my Melbourne travel journal and I just love it because it's gridded paper and it lies flat so it's perfect. It's got this beautiful like saddle stitch binding on it so that's going to be perfect as an art journal or a travel sorry travel journal for documenting some of these things that I got at Melbourne and then I also got these at the same store she was selling these little miniature envelopes and this is from another stationery store in actually yeah another stationery store in Melbourne called Paper Point so that was a really cool find as well so it's amazing what you can find at the market and this, I absolutely love Kendo, and he's my favourite Australian artist. Um, he's just amazing. He does these beautiful, bright artworks, and I love him because it reminds me of my childhood because he was really well known in the 80s. For me, it's a childhood nostalgia thing, and obviously, as you probably know, I like lots of bright, fun, colourful things. And I went into the Southhurst store in Camberwell, and I just screamed when I saw this. And it was like two dollars, and it's a Kendo and coloring sketchbook, and it's just beautiful, and it's in pretty good condition. And oh my god! So anything, I always go to op shops looking for anything Kendo, because I just absolutely just love his work. So it's got a coloring. In it. It's just so big. I don't know if you can see it all, but it's just a beautiful, beautiful. It's kind of like set up like a calendar, and there's yeah, just sketches in it, so things for you to color in. And then there's space for you to also do your own sketching. It's kind of nice to see his work kind of toned back like this and then how he kind of builds on the palette with the colours. And then there's obviously room for you to do your own sketches. I'm sure if I was using this, I'll be doing something Ken Doan inspired, of course. And yeah, it's got some more things here. And this is at the back, which is kind of cute because this is actually just off the top of my head on my wall here in my study. So it's really cute to see that on the back of it. There, so yeah, it's, it's great. I was really excited with that. Very, very excited. And also in Camberwell, I went to the Ride Art Store. It's an art store in Australia, and I found some of these cactus stickers, and you probably can see there's some missing, that's because I couldn't wait, and they've gone into my Kobanichi, so they're really cute, and I found these ones too, I don't know if it's going to show up on the camera, because they're kind of hologram -y travel ones, but I'm going to use them for my travels notebook, and I went to an office works there, and I got these little kind of flags with some cute little animals on it. So yeah, so this is some of the things that I got from Melbourne and I hope you guys enjoyed this whole video. Yeah, thanks guys for joining me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.